I see power. I see God's majesty. And I see all these things in heaven going on. Amen. Why? John's going to go on and explain to us what in these nine verses is taking place at this marriage supper of the Lamb. It's in heaven. People's in heaven in verse 1. Salvation. People receive Jesus Christ. There was glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. It's by praises. We see praises going on in heaven. Psalms 22, 23 says, You that feel the Lord, praise Him. All you the seeds of Jacob, glorify Him. And Him all you seed of Israel. Praise Him in Psalms 22, 23. It's by praise we see going on here in verse 1. It's by good works as well. In Matthew 5 and 16, Let your light so shine before men that your Father which is in heaven see your good works and may be glorified which is in heaven. He may see our good works. We see works that people have made and has entered into the kingdom of heaven. Works glorifying God, praising God, seeing God's power, witness for God, reaching the lost to Jesus Christ. Amen. That's where the multitudes come from. Amen. Yeah. It's my fruit bearing as well. John 15, 8 says, Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples, John 15 and 8. Here the Father is glorified in verse 1, is He not? That's just what we read. People are praising God and glorifying God because we bear much fruit. We went out and showed the fruits of God. Joy, peace, happiness, long-suffering, generous kindness, meekness, temperance. Glorification was going on in heaven during this great scene of the marriage supper of the Lamb. It was...